Okay, uh, I thought, you know, I wanted to do something else for my haunted classroom. The best thing I could do for my haunted classroom is to do a live BVP session. Uh, to try to get uh, as many people as possible on a live basis to experience the EVP sessions that uh, I do uh, all the time. I've got uh, 400, over 400 of them, and I've probably done a couple of thousand of them. Uh, and these are the ones that have been the most productive, and these are the ones that I've saved. Um, but I think it would be really great for a part of my haunted classroom to uh, include some people in a live uh, EVP session and have them experience what I'm experiencing. Uh, now, <clears throat> my wife is gone. She's out of town. She's going to be out of town for a couple of days. And when she goes out of town, usually things just go off the hook. Uh, that's just the way these, uh, you know, these things in here, when she's not around, you know, when the cat's away, the mice will play. And that's pretty much the way it is. Uh, they get a lot more um, uh, boisterous. They get a lot more active. They get a lot more vocal. And I'm able to catch it a lot more. Uh, so what I want to do as part of my haunted classroom, I try to cover in that uh, series all the different things that happen during a haunting uh, things that are common to all haunt or not to all hauntings but to most hauntings things that are common uh, and one of the things that are common are people who investigate them they are able to record EVPs so I want to show people how I record EVPs I want to show them the tools that I use, the apps that I use, the equipment that I use, um, so that if they want to capture this, now I don't recommend that anybody do EVP sessions if your house is haunted, if you want a normal life. Don't do it, because that's going to stay with you. If you they know that you're talking to them, that you can hear them, they're not going to go away. I'm telling you, they're not going to. Um, they're not going away for me. And I've been going on this for two years now. And I would really love for them to stop talking. But they're not going to stop now because I keep showcasing them. Um, but they're, I, I think it's important for the field, for the scientific value of the field, to show how I do it, what I use, um, and so that the serious investigators who are also getting involved in this, um, maybe that'll make it a little bit easier for them to capture these voices and, uh, you know, let everybody know that, hey, they're not crazy. They're not hearing things. These things are real. It's really happening. I'll talk to you later.